Hello there, everybody. Welcome to a brand new series for all of us. By all of us, I mean the three people that I'm with. This is Modded Minecraft, which is <laughs> Minecraft with mods. Hi, Rito. Ah, hey. Uh, wow, Orbital. Starting How off you? right like that. I'm I'm doing great. How are you doing, Alexa? I'm doing excellent. Orbital, oh. how are you? I'm doing great, Alexa. How are you doing? I'm oh, doing goodness. great. All right. So <laughs> yeah. here's how the series wow. is going to go. Wow. <laughs> wow. Hello, Rhapsody. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, Alexa. How's it going? I'm doing well. Mm -hmm. Here's how the series is going to work, everybody. Uh, we're going to be playing Minecraft, uh, and we're going to just do things. And our long-term goal, because there's like, I don't know, 500 different kinds of uh, delicious alcohols in the mod pack, and we're just going to make a massive brewery that is like totally automated, and we're just going to, you know, long-term goal is get crunk off our own supply. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason. With the, yeah. Responsibly. Yeah. Oh, there we so, go. I like this plan way better than Kill Rito. I think it's gonna I think it's gonna benefit me a lot more. Eh, plan a dope city. I don't know, I All still right. might just do the first one. Because it's easier than planning <laughs> Probably, a dope city. Let's be honest. It's gonna happen. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna I'm gonna be the first one to do it though, for sure. I'll kill Rito first. I know this. So oh, I know that you go ahead, Raps. So I know that each of us have uh, something on this board that we're looking to accomplish in this episode. I'm going to try and go off to Slime Island to get us some materials for making some really cool stuff. What are the rest of you going for? I'm going mining. I'm going to go get supplies and maybe I'll start making a house if I get a lot of stuff. Ooh. And, and I think Orbital and I are, are going to start planning out the dope city and making a house and doing things along those lines. I mean, before we before we start planning this city and all of the buildings, we got to name the city. Does anyone have any oh. like uh, nice Ooh. names for uh, a homey place? To I live? like Chet. <laughs> <laughs> that is a nice name for a homie. We got a couple of homies named Chet. Chet, Just, uh, nice. Chet Avenue. Ch sure, Chet Avenue. All right, Chet. It's where it's where our city is. <laughs> Chet, Chet sits on Chet Avenue. All right, I'm good with it. Any other names? Oh my! <laughs> why would we need another why, one? I don't think we need another one. All right, I, Chet. I mean, no taken. The oh. great city of Chet. <laughs> All right. Uh, my my, yeah, yeah, my first idea I, I like is the it. best. First idea is the best. Unless the uh, first idea is to go with the second idea. Mm -hmm. Am I am I am I right in assuming that the great city of Chet sits inside the principality of Chet, which sits inside the region of Chet, which sits uh, which sits inside the country of Chet, or is that just? Uh, they're that actually only currently uh, operating in the economic zone of Chet. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it gets confusing. The super state of Chet. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> All right, so the grand city of Chet that holds the Wholesome Boys Brewery. And winery of, and of chat. Don't forget of chat. Of chat. Okay. Of chat. So do all do does everything in the city of chat have to have of chat after it? I mean, we'll see. It would be nice, like right? Yeah, it'd, it'd be like, convenient. You'd never forget. I'm, what city I'm orbital potato of chat. I, <laughs> I, I see. I see. I'm Rito, first police officer of chat. Indeed. I feel like I have to now say one. Yep, Absolutely. I'm I'm Chet. <laughs> no, you are the Chet. You are the Chet of which Chet is named. Yeah, it's my city. <laughs> oh my god. Oh well. Crazy you. Here I thought we were founding it equally, and yet now we are subjects of yours. Yeah. Nah, not subjects. I, I'll equally share the city of Chet with all of you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you just happen just... to be named the same thing the city is named, rather than it being causal. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, oh, you kinda, I feel like you that's a convenient it. thing to say when there's only four of us and you're the one named Chet. Oh, this city just happens to be named Chet. Hey, I never sure. said that the city was named Chet. Okay, so you're right. It, it is a complete coincidence. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds like okay. a coincidence to me. Sounds like a coincidence uh, to me. What came first, the Chet or the Chet? That's the it's, question. It's got to be Chet, right? I mean, I think so. Yeah. I made a bed, y'all, if you want to come oh, hell set yeah. your spawn by right-clicking on it. Go. 
Yeah, I'm gonna come do that, that but great. I'm also gonna ask you, uh, where is this uh, nearby slime island that you've spotted? It is far east. Mm. It's like out in the meadow, far east. <laughs> so I was going the wholly opposite direction. Were you going west? Yes. Yeah, you did go west. I can see you. Yeah, you're going to want to go east. And it's, it's going to be up in the sky because it's a massive island in the sky. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So which mod is the uh, the slime, or rather are the slime items that we can be using from? That is from the mod Tinker's Construct, which is also what the smelter is from that we're going to be trying to make here uh, hopefully soon and those are going to allow us to do very good stuff it's just we have to actually have a place to put them first which means that uh orbital me and you gotta do some planning i think yeah we gotta do some work all right what what do you think Get cracking where where should the the sort of uh the plaza be we need to we need to give the 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 chat a heart you know <laughs> before we can give it some bones and flesh it out and make it feel all homey well i mean i'm looking the big meadow that Raps just went to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. flat. It's easy to get to. You know, I'm, I'm imagining a little tiny bridge right here that goes across the water. And kind of, oh. you have a, have a road going down into the meadow. We maybe set up like a house here that's kind of the headquarters where the, the giant wholesome boys to-do list sign is. Uh-huh. Um, and then, so, yeah. Okay. All right, so the so the wholesome boys sign is sort of going to be in the outskirts of town, sort of like a little suburb of uh, of Chet Chetville, yes. if you like. Yeah, the, yeah the exact. This is Chetville. I think Chetville. That's, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. All right. I, I think that's a, I think that's a great idea. You know what? I even think that maybe if uh, the plaza is indeed in the meadow, we can think about like diverting the river so we can have like a nice little uh, sort mm. of scenic plaza in the center of uh, of Chet. I like it. I don't know. All right. So should we go and scout out a, a zone, a place? How about how about this? You go scout and figure out because you, you're going to be main city planner. I'm I'm just oh. your lowly wow. lowly chat. Congrats, Orbital. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You've been promoted already. Wow. Uh, I'm just going to be your lowly chat in chat, <laughs> and I'm going to do what do what yeah. Grandmaster says. You've also been upgraded to Grandmaster. Um, wow. Thanks. So you're a Grandmaster Chet now is how that works, I think. <laughs> okay. I, I, look, I don't you're know how it is. You're Chet, but there's also a lowly Chet. Is being a Chet a bad thing in the city it, of Chet? I, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure that like Chet is actually just a monarchy or something, too. There, there's a lot of – the whole lore of Chet has not quite been determined yet. I'm sure it will get unveiled over time. But not I'm going Chet. to work here. I'm going to get a house for us, just, okay. just a little tiny little house. In Chetville, in... not actually in Chet proper. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. You got it. Okay. All right. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. I just want to check, you know? You, you just want, want Chet. Chet. Oh, God. This is... <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Worst possible start to a video ever. Rito, how's the mining going? I got a lot of stone, some copper, some... Two different types of copper, excuse me, mm. and tin. Is it? Is there two different types of copper? Because there's two different mods with copper. Or what's yeah, that yeah. It's called setting up a server poorly. Don't worry too too much about it. Oh, it'll work all the same. I'm not um, worried. So it's oh, okay. So both the, end, the copper will function as copper. Yes. You won't need to be. It won't be like get this copper, get that. No, copper. Okay, okay. No, that's both gonna be us to you later sufficient. in the series. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Do it now while you can before I have my authority and police station. Mm-hmm. I'm uh, excited for the police station. While it's everyone was doing their, their roles, I'll add as well. Uh, I'm going to be Raps, the mason. I'm just going to go around and make stone things. Cool. Yeah. I do like What's stone th- things. Mm-hmm. What's your first stone thing you're making? Uh, Well, the first one is going to be the building the side of the mountain out so that I can make a smeltery and kind of like a foundry. Uh, for mm. our whole, whole operation, I have to ask: Do you have planning permission for this? Uh, <laughs> to get the permits? This, this smelt trade? Oh, you have permits? I don't you know. Got, I d- uh, don't think we've uh, settled on a hierarchy yet. So... Did you run that uh, by I'm the council sure of chats? I'm pretty sure we we settled on 
there's a grandmaster. I don't know if you've missed that part. Yeah, no, no, no. You need to have <laughs> dominion over all chats. I'm Orion. <laughs> oh, that's true. Uh, Didn't plan your laws very well in chat. Well, chat. Riot chat. What? <laughs> a, you're a riot. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Hey guys, it's mine. raining. We are never deep going to want oh, for no, slime. I'm deep underground. Good. I, I typically don't want for slime. I don't know. I could do with wanting for slime from time to time. I may just jump. Do it. <laughs> do it. Do it, coward. Do it, non coward, well because it was jump. your idea. You might as well jump. Go ahead and yeah. jump. <laughs> First death of the series. <laughs> it was a strategic <laughs> death. Okay. First death of the series. That's what they all say. And they're usually Whoa. like, oh, no. what was that? Somebody <laughs> else seen a lightning? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Got I heard that, that deep underground. If I'm struck by lightning, it's been nice knowing y'all. Oh, if you're struck That's by nice. lightning, yeah, I'd be fine with that. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Just I'm gonna let you off with a warning. <laughs> Any more non wholesomeness, and you are going to be locked up, mister. That's fair. Yeah. Chet's the most wholesome person ever. You're disobeying his laws already. If yeah. um, if you did get offed by lightning, Alexa, I would ensure that you had Chet's first ceremonial burial <laughs> service. <laughs> See, I don't have Chet insurance, though. On this occasion. Boy. Uh, you know, it would be a it would be a special token of gratitude ah, from the Grandmaster. I stole. Thank you, Grandmaster. Do we have to call you like Senpai Orbital? Yeah. I mean, Grandmaster is fine. You said Grandmaster no. Senpai That's Orbital. Grandmaster Senpai Orbital. Yeah. Chet. Grandmaster Senpai. Grandmaster Chet Senpai Orbital. Can somebody turn off that lightning, please? Yeah, it's like real scary. Yeah, I'm spooked. Seriously, did spook me the first. Uh, I've actually got uh, all the slime in a chest near our to do. So I'm gonna knock off visit Slime Island. So uh, when I get back, can I knock off mining? We never have to mine in Minecraft again, right? Yep. Yeah, that's how it works. Cool. Oh, man, I just I don't know why we played this. I hate mining. <laughs> I hate mining. <laughs> the only thing I hate more than mining is crafting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> what a game all right so i i gotta i gotta throw one at you guys early on in the series mm. this is this is the kind of crap that you you can now expect in the series it's just us crap talking about random stuff so this is one that came up on uh on a stream the other day and I, I 100% need your guys' input. And we're going we're gonna to go one by one because it's, it's, uh -oh. it's a doozy, okay? What? It's like school again when they tell everybody to introduce themselves and I don't want to and I just want to not talk. I'm yeah, scared. Dude, I feel that. <laughs> they're <laughs> like, day, I'm like I what did you do in this summer? Yeah, they're like, what did you do this summer? What are, you, what are your interests? And I'm like, my interests are uh, not talking to the class. Yeah. Okay, go go ahead. I'm sorry. I feel no. I mean, I I respectfully feel the same. But anyway, what is your definition of a condiment? And no, I'm not talking about a minty fresh rubbery protection. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Do you you want to go down the line? <laughs> I I mean orbital. Do you want to draw the line? What is go. a what is a condiment to you? Well, I mean, I, as I'm the first person to go, I feel like my definition will be the foundation with which the rest of the discussion is perhaps considered, mm -hmm. which gives me undue importance because I really have never considered what a condiment is. Uh, I, a condiment has got to be defined, surely, in terms of what it complements. That, in my view must be, in part, the definition of what a condiment is. Okay. Would you like to stop stalling and uh, define a condiment for us? <laughs> I, well, I, I think I you know, inform Alexa that we did have to define shoes to Orbital. So yeah. This, it may be a dangerous place to start. So. 
All, All right, right, you know Alexa, what? Let, let's let let me let me go one better to you, right? Before we get into condiment <laughs> discussion, like, would you say that slippers are shoes? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't avoid the sure? don't avoid the argument. Right. Yeah, I mean, I'm still sure, but okay. A condiment what has got to be it? something that is added to something else that makes it better. That's, That's really broad, though. That's mm. super broad. So, like, technically, I'm a condiment to the series because I make it better? Yeah. Yeah. Boy, that is, that's a bold initial definition. You are the right. best condiment. No, thank you. Rhapsody, tear that definition to shreds. Well, I mean, like, I'm actually just going to slightly modify it. I'm going to say it's an additional extra to a meal that... Enhances or changes the flavor in a subtle but significant fashion. I'm pretty sure subtle but significant is a like massive oxymoron. But <laughs> What'd you we, call we, me? <laughs> 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 but I suppose I suppose subtle but uh, succulent or whatever you said. Subtle but enough. significant is it's not that oxymoronic, frankly. Subtle doesn't mean gonna... unnoticeable. I suppose that's fair. Rito, I mean, have, I, wait, hold, on, hold on, hold oh, okay, on. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> counter argument, argument. Counter uh, argument. You can have, you Grand can Master. have, you can have substantial condiments, right? That change the the flavor profile <laughs> in, in massively different ways. Okay, I mean, that's like, true. name one. one. Uh, Dude, hot sauce, a hundred percent. Hot sauce or chili pepper, something things. like that. Yeah, that's a significant way, but it doesn't change the base flavor profile. Like it adds to it, sure, but it doesn't Depends wholly change. On. Yeah, exactly. okay. I think at that point, it doesn't become a condiment. Your original meal becomes a condiment to the point, hot sauce. <laughs> at what point you're is the it. meal a condiment and a you're condiment? You're changing it. No longer. You're, that's, you're, you're changing the definition. Uh, that's, that's... Am I not allowed to? <laughs> we live no, on shifting I sands. That was the point. I'm not a descriptivist. I'm a prescriptivist in terms of language. Thank you. It's at the opposite. Whoops. <laughs> I've gotten lost. <laughs> Uh, in the, in Minecraft? Yeah. Or, I've lost or, or in your part, sentence. So. <laughs> Rito, what's your definition? Uh, it's basically the same as yours, except I'm gonna modify it ever so slightly. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say a condiment is an addition to a meal. I'd say it's an addition to just one specific food. Because if you say an addition to a meal, then how is isn't just everything on your plate a condiment to something else on the plate? I think that's a really fair point. You know? <laughs> like that? I got all kinds of stuff from mining out. So like I, I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw some examples at you guys that we can we can pick apart based on uh based on how they fit into the, the charade here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's say you have you make some scrambled eggs. Okay? Yep. No. Delicious thing to put with scrambled eggs, salsa. Uh, it's not. Bold, it's not old way to start. It's not my go-to. First of all, a, delicious. You should try it. Uh -huh. But yeah. is the salsa a condiment to the eggs? Yeah. What yeah. else would it be? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. What else would it be? Chips and salsa. Is salsa a condiment to the chips? Yeah. Yeah. I guess so. Wow, that was a unanimous yes to that? Yeah. Why would it not I feel, be? I, I feel slightly weird about saying it, but I have no idea what else I would answer besides yes. Yeah, I'm going to be real. I'm going to be the first one to say no. Then. I do not think that salsa is a condiment to chips. You think no. chips are a condiment to salsa? Salt? No. <laughs> I don't think that everything has to be a condiment. <laughs> everything is a condiment to something. My my argument is that like salsa to a chip is a it's a dip. What okay, what defines a yes. dip different to a condiment? What why is it I dip think not a, a lot of things, okay? Necessarily. So ketchup on fries, okay? Is a dip. <laughs> I think that if you are dipping your french fry into the ketchup, like you, you put it on your plate, maybe you mix a little mayo into it too because people are freaking weirdos and think that's good. Um, I think that if you're doing that, 
then it no longer is a condiment. It is instead a dip. But if you were to, like, drizzle the ketchup on top of the fries, <laughs> it is a condiment. So Ooh, it's I can't... placement. Yeah. I think that placement has a part in it, yeah. I, that just complicates I... the whole thing. It might, it might, it might complicate <gasps> it, but I, I think it's accurate because see the thing is placement matters in like a lot of these so for instance like here's another just absolutely cockamamie example Go okay american thanksgiving okay i know that two of you have not experienced yeah american i'm out thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah i have no but, idea what's uh what's thanksgiving <laughs> rito <laughs> but i don't i don't go you you've got your turkey you've got your mashed potatoes you've got your gravy you've got your uh stuffing things like that okay or dressing depending on what you want to call it have we found any iron by the way oh hold on wait what I are you defining as a dressing here going back to dressing that. is yeah. technically stuffing that isn't inside of the turkey oh is it a condiment that's placed wait, inside what? so is it similar no 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 okay so uh, my argument on this one is i like to do a thing after a thanksgiving dinner and by dinner, I mean, like, after the day is over. I do not do this directly after the dinner is finished. Where you just make, like, the bowl of Thanksgiving. And you put mashed potatoes on the bottom. Then you put stuffing on top of that. You put turkey on top of that. And then you just cover the entire thing in gravy. And you just eat that in a bowl. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. So it kind of all the flavors kind of mesh together. In that case, is turkey a friggin' condiment? It's turkey. It's part of the integral meal. Okay, but if you take it out, that's still absolutely a meal. Sure, but it's not about what is the essential of a meal. What can you not remove from a meal? <laughs> Otherwise, you know, like, um, is an omelet without cheese still, uh, still an omelet? It is still an omelet. So then yeah. is cheese a condiment to the omelet? Yes. In that case. I think, it's, I, think, I mean, that's a weird one for sure. I Rhapsody, can't believe that this, like, didn't create war. Like, I expected this to be one of those things that just none of us agreed on this. Do you have any, but do you have any all coal? Agree. I do not, Orbital. I apologize for that. I am about to start mining into the side of this mountain, though, so I'll get There's some. There's all kinds of coal doing? in the chest. Oh. If that's, do you say coal? Yeah. Tons in the chest, by oh. the sign. Matt Go King Cole. Oh. Robbie Coltrane. A third example. Cole from the, the video game Coltrane. Infamous. Thank you. Ah, Coltrane. <laughs> Cole Sprouse from uh, oh, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. A great Cole. What about the American Superstore Coles? Uh, oh, okay. What about the common cold? <laughs> <laughs> so, we actually have an Australian supermarket chain also named Coles, but spelt differently. Not K O H L. No, C O L E S. Around anyway. Oh my god. C O L E S. That's fine. It's a lad. Yeah. I I wonder if they like split off okay. from the same company just because I know that Aldi North became a different kind of Aldi in Germany than the Aldi that we have everywhere else in the world. Yeah, Aldi South. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's that's a hundred percent correct though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> they say they said, "What do we do with all these stores?" Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I'm bored. So we're actually like on board with the definition of a condiment Did, being an addition to any food. Like that's literally it. May May I ask? Did you have a different opinion, and you were expecting, or I did mean, you have the same opinion, and you were expecting different opinions? I guess that like maybe I have a different opinion. Like I don't think mm. that turkey is yeah, a condiment boys. to the thing i don't i think that there are certain foods that are like actually just never condiments there's also the argument of you know so are we going with the definition of something added to food to make it you know subtly better whatever to yeah. to change to tweak the flavor i don't know okay because right? so you can't say make it better because that's sub that's subjective so then here's here's one of the first big arguments that came up. What about just standard seasonings? Are those condiments? Mm. Uh, yeah, so like salt and pepper? That's a, yeah. yeah, salt and pepper. Are they condiments? I, 
I feel like maybe maybe seasonings are just a more specific version of a condiment. But since they so, have okay. such an obvious name to them, you wouldn't call them a condiment. So it's now, a now we're getting into I guess. where a condiment has a subsection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's okay. And that's kind of where where the unanimous decision was near the end. Man, I wanted to be different. But I also I'm I'm still something just don't seem right about that definition because it feels like it's just a cop out where it's like, yeah, well sometimes it's this, but well, I mean that's the English language. I, it's also true, yeah. Okay, what's the platonic ideal of a condiment then? Show me what is the most condiment condiment that you can think of, Alexa. <laughs> I think there's the big three. Okay. You got ketchup. You got ketchup, mustard. mustard mayo. You got mayo. Okay, so if I have a small bowl of ketchup off to the I side, you mentioned this before, but a small <laughs> bowl of ketchup off to the side of chips, and then I dip ketchup. them in, is that now a condiment? Or is that a dip, as you previously... I think that's a dip, that's and a... I don't think dip... Yeah, I don't think dip is a condiment. Can they not intersect? I don't think so. <laughs> Can you check? But, like, I, I, mean, <laughs> I can't really check. I, I, I don't... I'm struggling with that definition. I really am. Because, like, take another dip, okay? okay. Uh, let's go with... Take a dip. I mean, it, do you have, like, you know, like a spinach dip? I... Oh, here you go. So, let... let <laughs> don't don't Aren't you right now? I'm not, I'm not sure where I was going with that one. Um, take ranch dressing, okay? You can put ranch on a salad. Is ranch dressing a condiment to the salad? What is ranch yes. dressing? Yes. P wait, pardon me? What is ranch dressing? You, pardon me? What is ranch dressing? Can you it's when you take your question? clothes off. It's when you take your clothes <laughs> off in a big farm in the country. Ah, uh, it's not when you put them on. You're talking about ranch stripping. It's a wholly different thing. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's my bad. That's, that's dress, dressing ranch style. Or yeah. yeah. <laughs> now it all makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I always think of ranch as like a uniquely American thing because I, I don't really encounter it ever. It's it's just, yeah, I, it's weird. I, I figured out how to make ranch the other day and it baffled me and then yeah, I forgot it. I it's, mean, it's it's a it's just like a weird collection of a lot of things: buttermilk, salt, garlic, onion, mustard, herbs, spices mixed into a sauce based on mayonnaise. Mm. It, I, it is, alarmed uh, me that you all of a sudden remembered it that specifically, but yeah, absolutely. I don't have Google. <laughs> <laughs> it amazed me that you Googled it that quick. Like, yeah, I said, that quick. I said, "Hey, Alexa," and then uh, and you told me. <laughs> mm. First joke Alexa played Despacito, the... yeah. There we go. There yeah. we go. There we go. <laughs> I was going to do that in response you made it, so to now the nobody else in the to. intro. <laughs> I mean, everybody gets snubbed once in their life, right? Yeah. Was oh, anybody ever uh, picked last on a on a sports ball team in their uh, youth? Exclusively? I'm going to go with exclusively. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> well, I, I got to avoid that actually for like a very short period of time back when people did not know my level of uh, sport prowess because I'm a tall man. So I would oftentimes be picked for, oh, you'll probably be good at this sport. Uh, they learned very, very quickly that I am uh, just dexterously garbage. That's what they called me in college, man. Dexterously garbage. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's high school for yeah, me. I'm still in school. Big, <laughs> they called you Big Tile. Yeah, they actually called me Chet. Chet. <laughs> Grandmaster? Dude, yeah. Grandmaster Chet. That came with time. That came with time. You, you're not born a Grandmaster Chet. You become a Grandmaster Chet. Uh, Orbital was basically just like giving. <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah, but that was uh, very careless of him. How do you guys feel the, the best joke? that we had in the first episode of a brand new series was just calling everything Chet. <laughs> <laughs> I like that it happened the, within the first couple the seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a rough one. Oh, Chet. Welcome to a room stuck really, through the downhill. Yeah. I've got a really crappy house over here, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow! 
Lock What's him near? up. Not wholesome. <laughs> I tell you, Raps is going for the uh, least wholesome boy award. Yeah, I, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't intend Raps. for that one to be rude, and then it accidentally was. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's what they all say. You. Mm -hmm. I've uh, the almost line? finished with creating the area. We'll put the smeltery in. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Now we actually need the smeltery. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to come back for resources in a bit. Uh, also, uh, has anyone, because we're making the slime sling and the slime boots, has anyone, uh, you know, hunted any string? I'm pretty sure I have the server set to peace for right now. Oh, okay. So, so that's yeah, going to be difficult really to do. Cool. make yeah. so much sense. Yeah, I definitely forgot to change that back to normal. So thanks for the reminder. Okay. Okay. We, we've been, uh, we've been uh, on normal the entire time. What are you guys talking about? Absolutely. I, I think that it's maybe convenient that there were no monsters for the first little bit. Yeah. I'm, I am happy f that you made this mistake. Yeah. I mean, we made this mistake. Sorry. Uh, actually, there was no mistake. Mm. It's been no on mistake. the entire time. So. Yeah, it's been on the whole time. Yeah. So do we have like anyway. a, a chief monster hunter? Ooh. Sounds like the I Grandmaster mean... to me. <laughs> I I feel like the Grandmaster is too. Uh, He's getting too many responsibilities. Spread them. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was waiting to say he holds himself in too high of a guard to. Wow. Hunt monsters. <laughs> I mean, back in my day, Chet was a monster slayer, but. I I believe that's how the Chets were originally selected, is uh, whoever slayed the strongest monster. But kind of like the back in the day, it was they they were all just townsfolk and they just thought they were yeah. monsters. It was like that uh, really bad Jennifer Lawrence movie, The Hunger Games. It was just like a mm -hmm. hundred Chets and a cornucopia in the middle. And whoever came out on top got the city named after him. You're just describing a battle royale that's probably making its way through Steam Greenlight at the moment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, uh, I have a pitch for you guys. Ooh. Oh, okay. Ready to hear it. <laughs> I uh, Well, I mean, you already stole it, but I had a pitch for you guys, I guess. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah. PUBG two, right? PUBG two. It's uh, basically the same, but with a slightly different premise. And I made it. <laughs> I think a lot of developers had that same notion. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I am uh, Steam. <laughs> I'm intrigued enough, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, yeah. If you can't have a good idea, at least have a an idea. I guess, right? Something like that. Something like that. Anyway, I'm dying. Oh, well, don't okay, do that. Turn on monsters. And then in the next episode, maybe maybe uh, you can not die more. I mean, the chances of us dying are going to go up substantially. I was wondering why I never had problems with food, and I loved it. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I also did fix something from another time that never existed. Uh, hey, <sighs> first first actual death. Oh. Congrats. Had to had to fit it in. Had to fit it in. In, in the last you couldn't have outroed faster. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh. that's gonna do it for the first episode of uh four wholesome boys build a brewery. The boys boys build brewery bodaciously. <laughs> Gosh, like that. How do you place. build a brewery bodaciously? Uh, yeah, very carefully. Absolutely. Just that's very fair. carefully. Just big and Build a big curvy uh, brewery. What are you talking about? Worse for me. I want a big curvy brewery. I like my breweries like I like my condiments. <laughs> Difficult to define. Described by four men. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually. That's going to do it for the first episode. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. We'll be back to play more Minecraft with the wholesome boys uh here soon so keep your eyes peeled you can go find everybody's links to their various channels that you listen to in this video in the description of each person's video that you are watching so you can go find them uh say hello to them on their channel it would be incredibly kind for you to do that uh and then from there you will just be here next time thanks for watching bye-bye adios bye